Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this FNB58 USB fast charge tester. That's the top of the line of this series or at least of this brand as of April 2023. So here's also some description in the back. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you most of the things, a lot of the menu features, do a couple of testings and then I'm going to compare it to the FNB48. By the way, both devices have their versions with and without the Bluetooth. Here the S I think is without the Bluetooth and this one is supposed to be with Bluetooth connection. Okay, let's cut it open. And so here's the device. Yeah, it is a little bit larger than the FNB48. Of course, it has also a little bit more functions. The main difference, as far as I know, of the FNB58 and the 48 are actually two things. The first thing is the menus, which are much easier to use. And the second thing is that the FNB58 is supporting up to 28 volts, uh, while this one is only supporting 21 volts for the triggering. Here we can see also both of them in the back, a uh, little bit of comparison. So this one looks uh, definitely more sophisticated, more like a final product. This one here is totally open. You have to be really careful not to do any crazy things. I mean, it's mostly protected, but still this one is, of course, uh, better protection regarding the housing. But regarding the connections, I think it has pretty much same connections. We have the USB-A here input, USB-A output. We have USB-C input and output. And then we have the micro USB and also one here on this side. We have also the control very similar here on top. We have this dedicated button here, which is usually the back. And down here, there's the PD switch. And so I have it connected here to a 140 watts uh, power supply, USB-C to C. And so let's plug it in here so you can see what's happening when we plug it in first. So we have this menu here. If you want to select something, you have to push down here. So we can select either fast charge, statistics, toolbox, and some settings. In the fast charge, we have the yeah, warning, of course, we have to confirm. Then we have automatic detection, PD trigger, and a lot of different triggers. We have quick charge and even WOOC, super WOOC, these things. For example, we can do the automatic detection so we can see what's available here on this device. It takes a little bit of time, not extreme, but I had the impression that the 48 was a little bit faster. Also, this one here was a little bit faster, but at least we get all the information which we need. You can see up to 140 watts here. And so we have always a choice, select here, push in or go back here with this button. And so we have also some statistics here, NRG, statistics battery capacity, calculation, offline recording, toolbox, cable resistance, PD listener, PD converter, uh, marker, e-marker reader, a lot of things. And the settings of this device itself, so you have the general settings. Display brightness, standby, temperature, language, G sensor. I can't see anything about Bluetooth or so. We have some trigger things, system, factory reset, about. And of course, we have also other things. When we go back and just push to the right side, then we find the normal information about the uh, watt voltage and amps and here some more information and then we see this uh, oscillation monitor. So I think these are the menus. There is no long press to the left side, long press to the right side or so as with the uh, 48. So in general, I would say this is much easier to understand, much easier, faster to learn than the 48. This is exactly what I've been expecting. So let's go back, go to PD trigger. Now it had to reboot. Let's see how we can choose that. Yeah, just left, right. We choose 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 20. And we definitely have the 28, which I was expecting. Something which we cannot do with the 48. 
That's one of the big advantages. And so let's do this crazy test here with 140 watts. Here we have 140 watts. But on the other side, this tester, yeah, something which you can see also here, it can uh, adjust the screen depending on how you're holding it up and down. But what I wanted to tell you is that this has actually a limit or it says that it has a maximum display limit or monitoring limit of up to 120 watts. But here we have 140 and we can do up to I think 150 here so we see the 28 volts also here so let's see if this really works I have never done this before this will be super crazy so let's increase this here a little bit yeah, I think we go back here back to this menu I don't know if you can do something like recording or so you can see there are some options last group next group start offline yeah, it doesn't do anything. So I'm increasing the power here. Let's see, we are at 43 watts. I hope you can see that here. So I'm increasing here a little bit. Let's see what's happening above 100 watts, above 120, 138 and uh, 148, almost 150. Yeah, okay, I go a little bit down. This is too crazy, but it looks like everything has survived. The power supply, even this USB tester and also this of course. And yeah, now it's producing quite some heat. I turn this down here. It's already very hot here inside. Yeah, I can't see anything. I need to get used to that first. And so we release the trigger again. You can see it went down to 5 volts. So absolutely fantastic of course this is not what i recommend to do because they are clearly saying uh, they have a limit of 120 watts monitoring power but uh, obviously there is quite some safety built in here really nice that we can test up to 150 what's pretty much yeah one last thing because i didn't find anything here i just checked on my phone and we can see the fnb 58 here so probably i'll have to download an app and then connect it but this is not what i'm going to do here at the moment i'm super happy with it uh, this is definitely what i wanted and so I can highly recommend it. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.